Hello everyone, this is meteorologist John Jurgens with a look at an active forecast for the week ahead. First off, for the rest of this evening, there's going to be much more dry time as we'll see the showers and thunderstorms turn fewer and farther between, at least initially, but we're going to be watching areas to our west and our southwest. First off, this area of activity in the Quincy area, even some severe weather going to be cutting through across the central part of Illinois. We're going to be watching this activity. Could it just scrape by our area heading into the overnight hours? And then any other activity that develops in Iowa, like we see this activity west of Waterloo here as of about 515. We're going to be watching this activity as it rolls off to the east along and ahead of this cold front that will be kind of dictating our weather over the next few days. So let's turn to future track and you can see how it just has some very scattered activity, fairly light activity, nothing truly widespread. Here's later on this evening towards 9 o'clock. That's when we also are going to be seeing the next wave of activity coming through. So still scattered, still very hit or miss, but still some showers and thunderstorms rolling through the area overnight. So maybe some good sleeping weather, severe weather not expected with any of this activity. Notice how slowly this cold front is moving though. As Future Track shows us, it's just knocking on our doorstep Monday morning. I will say Monday morning looking drier, but you'll still want the umbrella handy as you head back to work tomorrow because towards the afternoon, we're going to see some more scattered activity developing once again. And this time we have the cold front that's going to kind of help things out. So maybe we see a little more widespread coverage in some spots as we head into tomorrow afternoon, but definitely probably going to want that umbrella for Monday afternoon. And then into the evening, that cold front will be sliding through and also weakening, and that helps dry things out heading into early Tuesday. Tuesday does look mostly dry, but Future Track is showing the possibility for some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Certainly a possibility in the afternoon with temperatures getting into the 80s, but by then our focus turns to the south, and with this low pressure system, the remnants of now tropical storm barrel. Now the forecast track has been shifting a a little farther north which means we may get in on at least some of the rainfall action so we're gonna have to watch for that especially on Wednesday that's gonna be really gonna be the day to watch when it turns to the uh, potential for potential for heavy rainfall with this system so could have some localized flooding the worst of it more likely off to the south Tuesday through Wednesday but still just kind of on the outside of it we're still just a little too close so we do want to keep an eye on that as we head towards the middle of the week otherwise with these scattered shower and thunderstorm chances continuing temperatures staying in the 80s through much of the week ahead but after barrel passes through notice those temperatures ramping right back up again flirting with the 90s as we head into next weekend